What's up, y'all? It's your girl Socks. I got Young Ratchet with an I <laughs> in the building with Inner Vision. What's up? How are you? Straight, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. What you got going on lately? Motherfucking YJB stripper throwing AF in the YJB stripper throwing all that going on up through the other street code one, street code two, all that about to go the fuck on and whoop the whoop, all that. <laughs> okay, this um, this go bad. Let's see, where'd you get your um name from, Young Ratchet? I got a name from Young Ratchet in the hood, man. Born and raised in Russia Drive, mm-hmm. all this and that. that I get my name. They all know what it is. So you got that from like when you was young, or you got that from like when you was just when I was young, super young. Like how 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 young is young? When June, rest of people nigga June. When June, your name Ratchet bitch, bitch. You the you the crazy funny motherfucker on the motherfucking block. <laughs> so that that when he first said that, then I just. Whoop the whoop on, going on through that with that right there. So now I just grab the name Young Ratchet. Then when he, on 30 right now, I still remain my name as Young Ratchet mm-hmm. because that's how he led me and I would never change my name as Ratchet or nothing like that because he said Young, I will keep the Young on that until I'm done rapping. Mm, when did you start rapping? I started rapping when my boy died, man, 20, 2008. So how old were you? I was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, I look, I look, I looked at, I looked at, I looked at him as my OG, mm. but even though he was younger than me. So he was doing it before you. Yeah, he 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 he's just a fucking head honcho. Mm. Yeah, so that was it. So when he passed, you started rapping, and then, like, how long did it take for like your buzz to like catch on to everybody and, and everybody started taking you serious? Oh, my buzz, my buzz just went like that right there with mm-hmm. both my nigga. Like, my buzz just, I came from out the house. Like, I, I, I recorded both my niggas. Mm-hmm. I recorded both my niggas like 30 times mm-hmm. until I got it right. But the both my niggas song, that was my hit. That When the both my niggas hit, that shit just, true. When the both my niggas, when they, Felt like I was rapping, then I just I slid on through there. How um how old were you when that? I happened? was like that same year, two thousand eight. That was like what I was like by twenty. Yeah, yeah, twenty. Woo, woo, woo. That's what's up. So, who besides what's your friend name? June. Yeah, besides June, who was like who influenced you to like start rapping as far as Junk and Carlos? Okay. As far as, like, what about in the industry, though? Like, you had anybody that you looked up to, or not even, like, looked up to, but, like, you just, like, listened to? You don't listen to nobody, like, in the industry that, like, could influence you? No. So how'd you get a flow? I got the flow by, I just, I just said, fuck it. My my, my uncle G. Slow, six and nine boys, he the one can't, Mm. that was his, that was his beat off the ball of my nigga. So I'm in a fucking garage going brazen. I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go in and whoop the whoop that bitch. Mm. I fucked around and whoop the whoop that bitch and that was it I went to the kitchen, I went to the kitchen. I went I I, I would record myself. I record myself and everything in the, in in a garage, in my mama garage. So I just took on for nothing. Once I did that first track that bought my niggas, I just took on for nothing. I I I see like like they lightened it. So as they lightened it, so I just I just slid on with with the rock industry. Okay, so from twenty to thirty, has your flow or has like anything changed from then to now being that the music has changed drastically oh, over yes. ten the, years the, ago? 
the music is it's, totally different, correct? It's totally different. Right. Oh. So how do you keep up with everything that's going on now? How to keep up everything going on now? It's like right now in Orlando, in the city, like as me right now, how my like the street code one, street code two finna drop. It's another whole different flow. Mm-hmm. It ain't no kind of flow. What the fuck going on right now? I got the, I don't, I got the motherfucking Jeezy flow. It's going crazy. So you got Jeezy flow. Yeah. So you just said it, that it, you don't listen to the like, industry, but Jeezy no, but is definitely it, industry. Listen though, you gotta understand where I'm coming okay. from. Okay. It's the motherfucker. <clears throat> I ain't like I ain't mean to go behind Jeezy on this that, but it ain't that kind of flow like as what I'm releasing right now. It ain't no flow like that right now. I help. In the industry right now, how I'm rapping, mm-hmm. this this go around right here. It ain't nothing going on right here like as I'm rapping right now. It okay. with the street code one, street code two. It ain't nobody with this fucking flow. So you I, 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 I always keep my own flow though. Uh-huh. It ain't, I'm not saying it's the Jesus flow. I think this shit's sweeter than that Jesus flow. This shit's sweet as fuck. Okay, so with the audience being as young, like, how do you keep their, like, attention span? Because you have, like, young, like, super young. Because, I mean, I'm only 24, but I still feel like there's younger ones right under me who got something totally different than what I listen to, too. So how do you make sure that, like, your audience is always tuned to what you got going on? Man, one thing for sure, I'm, I'm going to always keep the audience. I've been, I've been in this. I've been w- with the w- woodle woodle uh, in them in traps since a little bit of boy. So I'm always going to have an audience regardless mm-hmm. of the fact, though. Because it's just like, I always had a big fan base since a little bit of boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been having a little, I, I've been having a big fan base since, since I was, fuck it, two months. <laughs> Two months. This, this shit just been ridiculous. Ever since I was like, like two, three months. No, like, for real, you think I'm playing? No, though? it's just I didn't expect. I think like, you about to say like maybe like two years. Nah, like maybe two, two years three three ago. Yeah, I had a, my, my mama, my, my mama and my daddy, they they always been big headed. Mm-hmm. So it's like I always had a a big fan. I like like with the city, right? With the city, all that. like from. Then I, I grew up like from dancing. Well, I remember the whole city was dancing. Mm-hmm. I was dancing. I was tearing shit up. I mean, you want to fuck with me? I was tearing shit up. So it went from dancing to rapping and all that kind of shit. It's so much shit been happening. So you always had an audience. Okay, yeah, I always so had an audience. fan base audience. Do you, I know that like we just talked about pretty much your shows. Like you don't really do shows, but what was the last show that you had? The last show I had, man, when the fuck this was? The last biggest show or the mm-hmm. last? Last show? biggest show, like did you headline anybody bigger than you? Oh, you? I like I opened up for any everybody, any everybody, whatever, any order they want to think of, I opened up for them. Mm-hmm. Where just all up. in Orlando or all in Florida? Orlando. Orlando. I don't I like. Okay. Like okay, Name a couple. okay, uh, artists. Mm-hmm. I open up for Future. I open up for Lawan. Open up for Jeezy. I open up for Gucci. I open up for um. I open up for Kaya. I open up for Trina. I open up for Ti. So pretty much anybody that comes. Yeah, through, like, I open Orlando. up for anybody. They were like, I'm talking about like from when I first started rapping mm-hmm. to so now. like now, nah, yeah. So I opened up for any everybody. It's like I've been doing my thing from when I popped off. I popped off. It like I ain't. I never had to pay for nothing to open up no net car. I knew I was fine. Mm. Yeah. So this, this shit just it just come with it just come with my attitude, my relationship, and all that though. So with eyes being on Orlando, how do you think that like? within the next couple of years? Like, how do you think, like, your career as a rapper is going to change? Uh, as of right now, I care less about the rap industry in Orlando. I'm just here for my young niggas, like Glock, Toby. That's all who I care about right now. Because mm-hmm. as of the bullshit, I care less. Because they the youngest niggas. They the niggas who I rather have whoop the whoop. 
No, I ain't. No, I don't know what you're saying. Elaborate. Okay. They the motherfucking face of the city. Okay. They the face of the city. The young nigga. Right. All so you rather push other. them than just like trying to like get get in like me? the yeah. Okay, okay. As of me, street code one, street code two. That's my last mistake. I'm done. I'm done. Right. I'm thirty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thirty. I'm done. I mean, age really don't mean anything. I know, but uh, is, we have two chains who just renamed his name from Titty Boy to Two Chains. Now he's thirty five, thirty six. He old. He dumb as fuck. But he making that money, dumb. Yeah, he. Age don't really mean nothing. Yeah, age don't, but I'm just saying as me. For I don't. You. I'm not trying to follow or. Right. I've never been a follower, mm. and I don't. I don't condone and all that right now. Too much. Because he's a. I don't care about that right now. Cause that what he is. What he is. Seven foot. That's about seven lead. three. He's supposed to be playing football, basketball, catching him, and all that right now. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. I don't get into all that though. I'm talking about me though. Right. You just because done that. I, I, right. I, 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 I'm a leader. I ain't no follower. So I just, that, that's just, that's just the way I feel though. So I know that like when I seen you at, um, in Daytona, you was with Glock. So you're super close with Glock. You just said that. And you're super close with who else? Yo, I'm super close with Glock. I'm super close with Toby. Toby. You know, YJB, AF, and all mm -hmm. that. So how, because y'all from the same area. Yeah, every, yeah, Mercer Drive, 1400. That's what's up. Okay. So you said that you have Street Code 1 and 2 street coming up? Street Code 1, Street Code 2 dropping this Wednesday on all platforms. Everything going brazen. So when you get in the, when you get like in the booth, and you getting focused and everything like that. What it? What do you put your mind on? Do you just say, you know, I I'm just gonna my get this mind. done, or do you think about somebody? Do you think about anything while you in there? Like, what is your process? My mind on money, bitches. <laughs> my mind on money, bitches. Money, bitches. My niggas, the block, everything. Anything. Anything. So got to deal with the streets. Got it. Do you go in the booth? Already knowing what you got to say, or do you? I don't. I don't freestyle. I would you never. You write stuff down. I, I will always write all my stuff. I don't know how to freestyle. Oh, you don't know. How I to freestyle. don't know how to freestyle. Okay, at all. so you write your stuff down. Do you write your stuff down before you get in the booth, or do you hear the beat when you in the booth, and then like you just writing as you just go along? It's just how I feel. If I want to write, and if I want to, when when I get in the booth, mm -hmm. it like if I want to write it down, then I got the money for all that. It, it like. It like it don't matter if I got my money, I'm gonna have the money regardless. But if I wanna that time. right before whatever whoop the whoop, I'm gonna do it. It like I don't just go in a booth just spit. Nah, that ain't me. <laughs> I will never embarrass myself like that. That's good. At least you say it though. Like at least you know about yourself. You're very. Yeah, yeah. I will never. I will never embarrass myself like that. But that's good though. You know. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. So, is there anything else besides your street code one and two? You back in Glock and Toby. Is there anything else that we need to know about you? It ain't really too much. It just, I'm just back. It just when I when I whoop the whoop, I don't finna go in. But when I get out, the price is going up. <laughs> that it paint jobs. From the paint job to the music industry, all that, everything going up. When I get out, everything up. Hell not. You need about two bands to book me off real. When I get out, paint get out job. From where? I'm going to go in. I'm going to go and do a little, little six month. Okay. That's about it. But I'm going to do like about four and a half. <laughs> Just get on, get up out of that. But price is still going to be about two to book me. Mm -hmm. Paint job going up. Everything, everything going up. When you get out. Yeah, when I get out. Okay. I need all that bite. Understand, understand. All right. Well, thank you for doing this interview with me. Yeah. You got anything else you want to say? Street code one, street code two, about the motherfucking drop, man. Y'all ratchet. Watch that BAF in the my motherfucking nigga. Um, one John in a motherfucking lab. Motherfucking nigga. One motherfucking... 
Lil J in a motherfucker loud. My nigga had a motherfucking little whoop the whoop little fade shit. <laughs> but now he got the whoop the whoop on his head. He he got the fro fro on him. <laughs> so everything, everything in Copa static. We about to go ahead and whoop the whoop. We in Miami this spring break, man. We about to go brazy. We about to go brazy. We about to turn this shit up. We about to go whoop the whoop, man. Everything whoop the whoop. Everything with the that's a new lingo right now, Lord. Woo the woo. Woo the woo. Everything with the woo. Yeah, woo the woo, but I don't even know what the fuck the woo the woo tell you. Know what I mean? Man, it's your girl, Salsa, and Virginia, y'all ratchet.